Welcome, Hog Nation, to another segment of the Other Guys Sports Show. A bunch of guys here get together, talk about a little bit of high school football. State of Texas, baby. That's, that's the way it is right here. It's beautiful right there. That's week eight. I love it. And now week eight coming out of Hamilton is, of course, 6-2 and two season. Um... 0-1 district. But you know what? Before we get into all that, let's go around the table. Introduce ourselves. To my right, I got Robert the Truth Martinez. Bobby Castillo, the realist. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Martinez. And David Guerrero. So, we went to Divine. Uh, basically, another homecoming. Uh, the third homecoming of the season. Of this Actually, season. we got whoa. We got outnumbered, but we just got moved. You know what? I wanted to ease into it, just like <laughs> no. it's just plain simple, the truth. Kind of like when you give an injection, it's like I'm gonna, you know, give you an injection. Don't worry. But you know what? I like Alex. I like <laughs> Alex. You're, you're rough there, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I didn't sugarcoat it at all there. I didn't oh, sugarcoat it because it's just the truth. I mean, we just got whooped. We got outnumbered, played, and. Well, the final score was Divine 40, uh, Chris City 8. That was the final score. So and we only scored once, and that was in the first quarter, I believe. Yeah, it was in the second quarter. But, second but, quarter. but, I, but I, like every like every week here we do, we, we I get the positive out of every game. And what I saw is that there was a glimpse of us competing with Divine at their high level. And Well, right off the bat, when, when Divine got the ball, we three and out Divine. Right off the bat. Or no, that was the second position. Second, I'm sorry. Position. second position. They scored on the first drive. Yeah, on the first drive. Second place. So. But on the second position, we three and out. Yeah, we stopped them on the second drive. Uh, it was we surprised them. Yeah. So our defense stepped up, but I think I don't know if it was over pursuit. You know, just like bracket, where we're pursuing the quarterback and we leave we leave holes open. Well, let me tell you, there was some big holes that Divine ran through. I mean, there were some guys that were just being outmanned or outperformed, or outblocked, whatever it is. It seemed like there was a guy missing in that hole that should have been there. Yeah, it looks like the Hollywood were playing like 10 guys the whole game. Uh, Maybe even Either nine. somebody was missing. I know the, the fan base, again, great job. Everybody was there. You know, it was loud. Um, but for whatever reason, uh, there was, just like Bobby was saying, there was glimpses of, uh, of, of times where Hollywood showed that they could compete with Divine and possibly even beat him at any point or any other different game that might be at. But... This is another universe. This is our universe, and this is what happened. We lost to Devon. Be what it be. Maybe a alter universe somewhere out there, Robert. But that's comic books. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Uh, now Devon was real impressive. Uh, real, real impressive with Devon's quarterback. Man, that guy's a stud. Uh, uh, what was it? Well, not only that, but Zimmerly too, the running back. Uh, he he was all all everywhere. I mean, he was a great running back. He scored a couple of times. Now Zimmerly also he got uh, Player of the Week. We're on Texas you on that. The previous week against uh, Lytle, I believe, when he racked up almost close to three hundred some yards rushing. Well, matter of fact, that's one of the. Let me make a point on that. Uh, that's one of the good glimpses and Chris's defense right there. Because in this game, uh, Zimmer he he only had ninety yards rushing. On yeah. the previous game, you were saying. I guess Lytle, he had 328 rushing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, so Kisali well, either... We stopped him. Yeah, we stopped him. So, but, I don't know. Well, that was the game plan. It could have been that the other guy did enough damage that he wasn't <laughs> needed much. No, no. Well, because that's what I thought too, but he had 24 attempts, though. That's a lot of attempts right there. That is a lot of attempts. And then, so, so I, me, actually, the quarterback is the one that did the most yardage. Well, he did. He had, he had 176 out of total attempts, like you said, maybe. But still, I was impressed. 24 attempts, that's a lot of attempts right there. But I think it was just more of a setup, trying to just tenderize to one side and then coming back around with the quarterback and, and making that yeah. play. And, and, and Divine came out with shotgun and triple. You know, they didn't go with their traditional office of set of the I was surprised. Slot. I was not surprised, but... The slot T office. Yeah, yeah they yeah. changed it up a little they bit. They changed it up. They even went into a shotgun at one time. Yeah. Well, I, like, I like that, uh, that trick play they did. Trying to get the defense to throw out by uh, sides. No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When they kept running, each one was in motion. Then get behind the, the, the running back and set. Yeah. And that, that was a good trick play. But luckily, the, the defense they was stayed smart enough. They play. stayed on the. Well, it, it, it backfired on us just once, and then the second time they did it, we we we, we smelled it. We, we called it. Yeah. Especially, I think it was uh, the big turnover was and and uh, well, did that pitch out the third quarter. It was the third quarter. It yeah. seemed like we had momentum at that point. Yeah. It seemed, I mean, we see, well, the way, I mean, I'm always looking to the future. Okay, if we score right now, and then we score again, then we're only one score again. You know, but it just seemed like we couldn't get to that point. Like I said, it had, we had glimpses of where we could easily have played with Divine, you know, 
hit the head. I mean, but and then all of a sudden, this little mishaps happen. But I think it's it's a game that um, that we gotta we gotta learn from something. I mean, either kids gotta gather up again. You know, seniors, leaders, key players have to come up and say, you know what. Let's get together again. Let's regroup. Let's start fresh. You know what? It's the first game of the district, and we're going to go back and, and, and maybe just take out of this as a learning and a, maybe a building period or a game. No, you have to learn from this game, and they have to learn that they, they can compete against Divine, but those big plays, I mean, they scored a big plays. It yeah. wasn't like yeah, big they, 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 you know, they have it as the offense where we go and we, we chip away all the way to the end zone. And we moved um, the ball. Yeah. I mean, we were moving the ball. I mean, that that, that wasn't the question. Uh, we had like, what, two turnovers or three? It, it was like around. Two or three. Two or three, yeah, I think so. And, and a few fumbles and poor little freshman, Pacino, you know, he keeps <laughs> that stat going and fumble again. And he's, and he's a freshman. You got, I mean, it's, yeah. hard, to, it's hard to think. And, and see him otherwise, but truly he's a freshman. Uh, he's taken up a big load, but there's running backs that can, you know, help him out in that sense. I mean, don't get it wrong. I mean, I know he made uh, mistakes. No, but he's, I don't, he's, I, I, he's I, done I, a lot. I want of, him out there, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. He, he's had had a lot of fumbles, and it's cost us a lot on the fumbles. But uh, above all that, he is an awesome player. He's averaging he can, 10 yards per, yes, per carry. He can, I mean, he can, he's a, you he's can't a sit somebody like that. You he's can. a playmaker. I mean, uh, you know, everybody does mental mistakes. You just got to learn from those mistakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, but I'll, I'll, I'll say this to his behalf. I think like 90% of them at least. I, I haven't seen a real fumble that's really I, – I see him all stripped after Ford yeah. progress has been yes. stopped, that right, kind of yeah. stuff. And I feel that's, that's referees – Letting the other teams get away with it. Yeah, you don't see Kumo like in, on the handoff exchange. Yeah, you don't see him just dropping in or right. being hit and exactly. he drops it. Yeah, it's all strip. You know, it's all. And I feel like even this one, I feel like he was in the bottom of a pile, and the guy came out with the ball, and, and the divine guy comes and says, "All right." Yeah, my ball. even like that, I don't think he, that and, wasn't even. A, and I don't know if you guys saw the, the video of the the divine and Chris City YouTube video where they have the little highlights. You can see one of the injured players, you know, basically giving a kiss to one of the referees there. Oh, my goodness. So I was like, man, I wonder if this guy's from Divine or something. Because he just gave him a hug. You know, everybody was shaking hands, and then he goes and gives As a hug. reminder, you can see that video from the face, uh, Facebook page. Just, the other just look it up. Show, yeah. You look it up there. Where there's some good Check information. It You'll see it. It's even better than the console meeting. It's oh, console. my God. Check <laughs> it out. It's more entertaining. An, that's another segment right there. <laughs> <laughs> and also, one thing is, you know what? I'm tired of, uh, of of real grass football field, man. I, 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 for some reason, it just seems that, oh, my gosh, we struggle in brackets. I don't, you know it was the bugs? Oh, oh man. man. Oh, my God. That was, that was a bug bowl. The bug bowl. It was, it was, was the bug bowl. It was bad. It was ugly. Even for me up there, guys. Oh, really? No, man, I, we had to turn off the lights because... Everything. I, I, I almost ate a, bu- a few bugs. <laughs> I put them in my shirt, my cap. I had to go outside. I mean... To bring the radio guys for ninety four point three, yeah. it was tough. So the, the question is, the big question is, are we in panic mode yet? Well, it's hard to predict because Divine's a good team, uh, and so and honestly, I mean, <sighs> we'll, see, we'll see what happens to tonight. Yeah, yeah. Well, because honestly, I and I'll tell you the truth. Yeah, every year we would love to be divine, and we're all pumped up to be divine. But honestly, divine is a decent. I mean, I mean, sure, there's bigger, better schools, Navarro, you know, Wimberley, stuff like that. But, but divine, the divine, divine's up there. It, it is up there, and we're not even close. Yeah, I mean, but they're well coached. They're very disciplined, uh, and and these kids, they don't stop. Even if it was the fourth quarter. They had like a thirty point lead. They didn't stop. They they kept. I mean, and that's what that's one of the things I hate about Divine. They're they're my second, you know, besides Hondo. Besides Hondo, Divine is one of those that you know never let let up on us, and and I can't stand that from them, you know. Yeah. Oh man, I think we hit it a little bit, or uh, I guess off the air where we mentioned. That I think the aspect of what I was disappointing on the game was not on a, not in Chris City's defense, but it was more offensively on Chris City's offense, a lack of yeah. offense. Uh, I think I was more. Um, surprised, I guess. Yeah, and, so, and, and, I, and a lot of people, you know, when they call me, it's like, what happened? It's like, because I guess in the radio, I display what's going on in the field. This is Bobby, I didn't see no urgency in, in our second half, try to come back. Yeah. You know, we, we kept running the ball, and, and you didn't go to the air as much. And I'm like, I think we went to a check on a few times, but we, we kept yeah. running the ball. And at that point, I thought maybe the coach considered, 
you know what, let's just lick our wounds here and be healthy for and, and a I, nice game. And, 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 and that's yeah. Sometimes that's what that's as a coach you you gotta you gotta think you, forward. You gotta think forward, saying you know what, this one's that this one's over. There's no reason to injure anybody. That you don't want to exactly. risk anybody's you know livelihood on our field. And and sometimes that's the best best thing to do as a coach. That's the best outcome you can have in a yeah. game like this is first no, no first injuries. and foremost no injuries. And, Make sure and, all the kids I don't think no injuries, right? Yeah, no, 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 major no, no major injuries, which is great, except for the feelings. I, I mean, there's, <laughs> there's there's some times that but those can be cured. You yeah, want to make points. Happen. And you want to throw off the defense off bat, uh, not thinking right. You got to run with an, uh, a no huddle offense, and he hasn't run a no huddle offense throughout the whole season. I don't even know if we have one. Then. No, that's, that's a question. Do. But uh, they, they should. I'm hoping they they practice on the no huddle offense because that really helps out a lot. Well, it, it, that that's just by experience of watching so many high school football. That's got to be the offensive coordinator. Bread and butter. If he, if that's the what he likes to call. Because no how to offense. There's another element to it that you call yeah. a place on the sidelines. Yeah. And you need three coaches. Because I know we ran it at one time a few yeah. years back where there's a coach with one, you know, sets the line, the nine block assignment, and then you have the routes assignment, and then you have the the cadence. You know, people need to know what yeah. we're going on. And then you, you uh, have all those, that. Is, yeah. Yeah, we can't just add that over over a week. And that, that's your brand sometimes, like. Um, Who's at uh, Liberty Hill? We see it's it, it's double tight end all the time, uh, wing back formation, and they don't throw. They don't, regardless if they're down forty points, they'll never throw. They might throw in one or two plays at the end, yeah, but right. even like that, the receivers are just surprised they got the ball because <laughs> pretty much what it is 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 ball contr- uh, t- uh, clock control and just pushing forward. And one other aspect, uh, I'm hoping by now that the maybe the passing game will develop a little bit. Yeah. A little bit better than that. Now I know we're not a passing team. I understand that, but man, but, sometimes. But I feel that we have a lot of I think key players in our receiving core, and with Sebastian having that great arm, man, I think that that's something the coach needs to say. Yeah, we need to target. Um, and we we have offered Reese showing up in our in our receiving core now. Mark Sanchez, um, Carlos Flores. Um, what is it, the, the tight end cut of Pedro Gutierrez Pedro Gutierrez yeah. out there and Rocha you know the, the Rocha and, and number 88 yeah. and I, I feel like those guys you know have good hands let's, let's attack them and when you throw it to them it's one on one over there yeah and but even like that I, I even like that even the passing I think we need the protection so because what I saw on, on, on the direct game against Divine those linemen were up, out. They were. I yeah. mean, they, they. I mean, they were behind the, oh. in, in the line of scrimmage quickly. And my, with my coaching hat, when you have something like that, you gotta go to screens a lot. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. would have loved to see a little screen. You, you gotta oh, go. Is there that? Is there that forceful? You you, 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 throw some screens in, and they, and the, the brain starts saying they start holding back because. But until they do that, they have because every... if they can beat us that easy, they gotta think, oh, there's another screen. That's why I got in. So they stop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know, because that's what the screen does. Start hesitating a little yeah, bit more. They're like, oh, they got they got one on me because I went I came in too fast. So you throw a few screens in there, you stop them, and then then you go back to your yeah. offense. But that's just me thinking out loud, guys. <laughs> <laughs> not, not so much a suggestion because coach. But, kind of and, wants but to even do. like that, I mean, even even in the show, we notice that you know, okay, we've lost two games already, and and, and you know, decisively too. I mean, by more than two touchdowns each game we have to, or the kids I mean I mean we can speak and preach all we want but when it comes down to it is this coach and the players that have to have some type of unity and, and some type of same goal and quality that they have to both agree on and they got to go after it they, they have to find some type well, of unified for, for the coach's defense I think the players need to buy in yeah 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 and if you're not going to buy into the coach your buyers will not show up Right. So, anyway, on that sense, we're going to maybe take a little break, a little something. I mean, other than that, the Divine, we're going to go ahead and um, come back because there's two other games in the district, which is going to be us and um, Carrizo, of course, which is a big topic, so we got to get into that pretty quick. But, arrival, arrival. Yeah. So, I think it's enough. Uh, Raj, you got anything else on Divine game? No, no, I'm good right now. Yeah, I think it's something that we should just leave alone. In the past, well, one other thing. Right now, I'm not in panic mode. I think a lot of people talk about their panic because me going to the game, I thought we were going to lose the divine, but maybe not in this fashion, the way we played. But so I'm not in panic mode right now. Uh, we'll see what happens tonight. 
I kind of called a, a score pretty close. Uh, <laughs> I, I had it for five touchdowns, but I, did, I just didn't know they were going to go for two every time. <laughs> they, they never, they never kick the field goal. They don't. I don't think they even have a kicker. Well, they, they tried for an extra point, but we, so they we, we tipped it or got it. And, right. and the placeholder ran it up the middle and got the two points after all. Right, yeah. Because so. Or else it would have been 30, 38, 39. <laughs> but he, he got the four. I mean, they scored the five touchdowns. I knew they were going to score on us. Yeah. And hopefully, no more. Uh, uh, well, 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 we got only four more games left, right? Right. No more homecoming games on the road. Well, we got ours. Just three yeah, we, got ours. Right. we got ours. Oh, we got three, right? That's yeah, it. we got a bye. That's right. That's, That's right. That's game is a bye. Yeah. So, so anyway. So we'll be right back, guys. So we'll be right back. 94.3. And also, we like to mention on the Facebook page also, we're getting we're getting more and more popularity. Yeah, yeah. What's the web page? Web page? Oh, uh, Facebook slash Other Guys Sports Show. And remember, we have different forums. So we got YouTube. We've got some streaming. we got podcast. We're covering the globe. Yeah, uh, I'm telling you. Right and now we got two, uh, 292 likes right now. So actually, we're second place in North Korea right now. Uh, I, I heard there's a Chinese guy out there right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll be back on the uh, other guy's sports show in 94.3. Whoa. All right, the other guys, sports show back in the game. Yeah. You know what? We're back, we're oh. back guys. This you know what? We're back in life. Yeah. yeah. New beginning. You know what? We I can actually I now that we shirt on now. Now that we met the biggest baddest boy in the playground, which is divine, which we all said it, it's going to be a tough game. You know what? It's over. It's done with. It's done with. You know what? Over. Forget it. Forget about it. Now let's make a statement and say, you know what? We're in second place. We got to take second place because you don't want to meet Navarro. Because you know what, Navarro just destroyed Lytle seventy to zero last week, and Navarro's pre-ranked number fifth subdivision six A in the San Antonio poll. Yeah. And they're a freaking four A school, dude. If you think Divine's tough, Navarro's one one notch tougher. I think he's maybe five notches yeah, tougher, man. Yeah, yeah. But either way, we got Carrizo. This is Let's go. we got to take God Almighty. Here. This is what being every year. It comes down to rivalry games. And you know what? Our rivalry game is against Carrizo. And so has it been since the dawn of time. Well, <laughs> what was the first game, Robert? You went, I know you did some research. And st- what, what was the first time that Christian yeah, Carrizo ever met? Uh, 1928. Huh? I don't think the world was in color yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is, will be the 80th matchup of Crystal versus Carrizo. And it's always been... A rival against Crystal Gunn. Regardless. Yeah. Regardless. Since 1928. 1928. Exactly. So, I mean, it, it gets good. And, and honestly, I think in the past 20 years, it's been evened out a little bit more. I know Carrizo dominated a lot, especially in the 80s. I know we were there. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, but, you know, late 90s, 2000s, I mean, we've right. been able to compete with Carrizo. Just to give you how, well, it's true that within the last 10 years, I would say we were competitive. There was some, like, around the 80s and maybe even 90s. Carrizo was total dominating in Cristal. But just to give you a little glimpse, in the last seven years, Crit City versus Carrizo, if you average it out, the point difference is one point difference. <laughs> yeah, it's so always it, been. It's been that close. Wow. And then in the last year. And we, lost, we won last year by one point. In by overtime. The, by the field goal. Uh huh. Oh my God, that was a crazy game. Uh-huh. Yeah, I know. The year before that, remember that. At home, oh, that, that wait, no they, ca- oh, wide open, no, no time, right out. no time middle, out, huh? White guy at a time, out. exactly. Yeah. So it's been close games. It's been close games. In other words, it's gonna be close. Regardless of the records, regardless of the records, either they're winning, we've been losing, we've been winning, they've been losing. When it comes down to this game, nothing every, matters. Everything is put on its game. It seems like everybody looks like a friggin' six and and0 team. Yeah. So I, I'm pumped. I know these kids should be. Pump like crazy. If not, they, they don't have especially, a pulse. Especially for the seniors. Oh yeah. Every senior, it comes down to this game. It doesn't matter. These other games don't don't count. Don't matter. Not this week. Uh, you want to live? You want to leave high school your senior year, knowing that you beat Carrizo. Yeah. That is the ticket right there. And oh yeah. As we know, we beat one team in district. We're in the playoffs. I mean, I, I see Carrizo as our ticket to the playoffs. Yeah. I, I feel. Let's I mean, punch that ticket this week. I feel confident. I think we're gonna catch in. I think our Havanas are gonna. We just. I just, I just see us having a lot more talent than Carrizo Springs. 
Curtis Springs, like you said, you put any, all of this season up outside, they're going to show up. They're not going to lay down and let us just beat them. But I just see us having more talent. I think we have more arsenal on our side. I think we're going to beat them decisively. But that's but the that's kids, my... The kids have to believe that. Yeah. They have to believe that. Because all honestly, I don't want it to be a really close game. Honestly, to be, to be truthful, I want it to be a blowout. I want Carrizo yes. uh, just to you know take everything we give to them and ask for more. Make, make a statement. You got to make a statement. And... Because next week we meet Poteet. Yes, and you know what? We're gonna we're gonna make a statement and say, "Holy yeah, crap!" We need Poteet and Pirtzal to say the Cavaliers are for real. Yeah. That that six yeah. the five zero start is for real. The last two games were a little glitches. Yeah, but we're we're back. We're and, back. And then this this game today, I think we we prove it. I think the Cavaliers yeah. will, uh, you know, two losses will really set your practice to back to back losses. Yeah, yes. You know, coaches yeah. are probably on their players right now. They're, everybody's making them work harder, pay more attention to detail, and let's get back to yeah. It's going to be a key game. It's going to be a key game. Matter of fact, uh, yeah. I think enough said. If we, if we were like zero seven going to this game, you know, yeah. you know, it's still going to be a great game. And uh, I'm, I'm expecting a great game, great performance by Crystal. And no, you, got, you got to take all that frustration from this devastating loss that we had, yeah. two in a row, and, and take all that frustration, bring it out to the table, bring it out to the field. You're bringing it back, though. Yes, you're bringing it and, back. And, and, I want to let it heal here. No, no, no. It's, it's, it it's gonna, it, it's, it's gonna <laughs> pump me, pump him up, and uh, just yeah. bring it up. Take no, no, no. Uh, all that anger and frustration, and and. Just the humiliation at one point in time that we got, we got to mix all that together. And you know what? We got to bring the nasty. Yeah, and just like the Dilly game, we, we do have uh, having a ex having a coach. Yeah, we got in Carrizo Springs, just like we did with uh, with the, Dilly, where we had uh, we coach, got Coach uh, Ibarra over there. We, now we have Coach Ibarra coaching the. You know, and ex coaches, David Hernandez, I don't know, yeah. he's still there, and all those coaches. And don't t- don't take Carrizo for granted because no, Carrizo, Carrizo, you know, they're here, they're hungry, they're trying to make a statement. They also want to go to playoffs, look us. They do. So, and they have every chance to go to the playoffs. They so. probably see us as a ticket to the playoffs. Yeah, exactly. They might see the same way over there, and uh, they're trying to show us an example. You know, or maybe they see us, uh, we're being down, they're going to make it three in a row. Yeah. So we got to. Sh- Prove them that no, no, the buck stops here. Yeah, I mean we're wounded. Yeah. I'll be, I'll be honest, we're wounded. Not so much physically, but emotionally, we're wounded. Okay, man, you don't want to, you don't want to face on the wounded animal. Yeah. Oh. Especially a cornered one. A cornered animal. Yeah. Oh. He'll tag. He'll tag. Nothing to lose. Right yeah, there. nothing to lose. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta fight back. <laughs> well, honestly, and that's, and that's I, what having is all right now. Yeah, I, honestly, I hope they do that, and I really hope that we just put a pounding on the cats. This, yeah. this, this, this tonight. I, I really, really, really hope that we do put a pounding. And on. also, what I, uh, ho- hopefully, what I'm hoping for, Crystal has a fast start. Yeah, in the first quarter, and never I look wanna, back. Yeah, I want to have like two TDs in the first quarter. You know what? I won't be satisfied unless we're twenty-one to zero and a half. Oh. And I want I want this to be another uh, Corpus game. Who they scored every, Total domination? Uh, he, he they scored almost every 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 drive. And you might be onto something. I think it starts with the special teams. Maybe in the kickoff returns right there. Yeah, remember yes. and Corpus that that sparked it off over there. Well, yes. actually, our special team didn't do that bad against Divine. We didn't allow a touchdown. We didn't. Uh, I think they were. Decent, but not nothing major. Yeah, on that sense. I think they had just one good return. Yeah, yeah which is well, I think it was like a thirty-five yard when they ran it all the way yeah. to the the home side, right around the 50, 48. Or the but yeah. we were punting a lot more than than the yeah. other. What, what threw them off is when they did that spare that they they put on fourth down. Patino always punts, and, and this it. time Sebastian. Punt, and at that time, the coach, had to the coach right away saw that and ran across the uh, across the sideline to call the timeout right. before they snapped the ball. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the type of things that they they need to run trick yeah. plays where they we throw them the off, where they're not expecting the, these type of uh, players doing these type of things. It's like I said, you know, on the receiving, put one of your running backs, put him as a re- as a receiver with Carlos Flores and a good running back, a good running back in the back is gonna throw them off because they're gonna yeah. know. Yeah, Joe, we're, Joe, we're through. Just like Joe Saldana had a great run there for the Howie. Oh, yeah. That, that's pretty That's awesome. a power run, and he ran over some kids. Yeah, that's different than He that, that touchdown that um, Joseph Lopez got for yeah. uh, him, and then um, the quarterback took it by himself all the way to the like, six yard line. Yeah. And I, don't, I don't, and I don't think these kids need a lot right now. 
to to motivate them. I think if they have a great start in the first quarter, the first drive, I think that's just going to carry over yes. and it's just going to uh, snowball effect. Yeah, yeah. This is the thing that that bothers me most of the time, and, and I'll say that as a fan. I feel that the way they're going to show up today is the way they're supposed to show up for every game. they got to see every team like Carrizo Springs because everybody gets hyped up. They focus better. Everybody's intense. Yeah. I just wish that we played the same way all 10 games. Well, I honestly, That's the way to play. Honestly, the thing that even against Divine, I want to go back to Divine again. Honestly, if Divine was, if they were the same players but wearing a different helmet, I bet you we would play better. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> like for some reason, right. we just get up for, yeah. for Carrizo uh-huh. a little bit, another notch and I think we're supposed to be playing that way with Divine but I'm ready for Carrizo I think that I feel I have all my trust all my eggs are on on Chris City side right now all my chips are in I'm all in in. I think having this will take this baby in now we have to understand too now we lost against Divine of course we've already mentioned that but also Carrizo got lost last week against Pearsall now nobody wants to go 0-2 in the district because the pressure is just that much more yes so I'm sure Carrizo, I'm sure they're emphasizing that we do not want to go 0 and 2. But also in Crystal, hey, you know what? But I like our advantage because we got home field advantage. I believe we have a better outstanding athletes than, than Carrizo right now. And also, we've been uh, four games in a row, so we need some home cooking. We need to go yeah, play and in our backyard. That's another thing uh-huh. that I wanted to point on that, you know, we've been traveling a lot. Yes. The last time we played at home was against... Uh, Zapata. No, was it Zapata? Yeah. So we played Gutula home and we played Zapata. That's right, and that's and it. And that's it. All the rest of the game's been... Uh, it's been, been in Corpus, it's been against Dilly, Brackettville, Bracket. and Divine. So you know what? It is a lot to ask from these kids who travel every Friday. It is. And and you know what? It, it takes a toll. Yeah, it does take a toll. So on the on the having a road trip, we went 2-2. Two and two. Which is not bad. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. Pretty much, we need the home for you, the home field advantage. And, yeah. and, and I think and, and we're bringing an art turf now. And oh turf. my goodness! You mentioned yeah. grass. Yeah, grass is just. Oh no! For some reason, it's our Achilles heel sometimes. But you know what? We're gonna get some great home cooking, great home fan base. I, I know if you're not there, man, I don't know where you at. No, yeah, I don't know. we're gonna bring that corn in the cup. To Ooh, the fans oh, really? well. Look at that. And fajita tacos and, Man. and sausage wraps. Man, there's, there's people, you know, people, and so many people. Pizza. So many people go into this game. Okay, you haven't seen it in 10 years. People coming out of rocks and who knows. Yeah. You yeah. know, the place is going to be packed and jumping. People waking I, up from I, I'm comas. Ready, man. I'm ready. Oh, oh yeah. I want to see Carrizo just cry all the way right back to I would love Carrizo to see that strength. too. Oh, man. Uh-huh. Let me tell you, Bobby. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm not. I will not be satisfied, and I will not be content unless we completely and utterly destroy Carrizo Springs. <laughs> oh, I'll be a happy camper. <laughs> you know what? Because and, and, I know what happened to Cuate Barriada. I think he didn't want to show up today. Uh, he, he might be scared. I think he, he was scared. Think. That's our that's our first battle one. They nobody from Carrizo wanted to come over here and then come and, to our talk show. Yeah, nobody wanted to defend Carrizo Springs, so <laughs> there's no backing there. Right? I, I, I'm, I'm calling him out right now. Oh, uh-huh, there you go. <laughs> so anyway, so tonight. Against Carrizo, seven thirty kickoff time. Be there early. Be there early. Oh my god! Oh, Parking yes. will be tough. If you don't have reserve seats, you better be there. Like Tailgate. A, yeah. Be there at six o'clock. Be at three in and, the afternoon. And, and we'll, we'll, the athletic butcher will have some waters there for you guys. All we'll right. Set up for you and get you hydrated <laughs> while you wait. Oh, nice. <laughs> but hey, but regardless of, of, of what the situation is, I know Carrizo is going to be full too. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And full too, and. You know, uh, but you want that. I mean, this yeah, is this is great rivalry games. I know Divine got Hondo. I know uh, Le Prior, uh made, met up with uh, Lakey, Lakey. I think. Yeah, yeah with Lakey. And, uh, and so it's about time. I mean, we need this. Yeah, we need I'm this. Excited. Not I'm only excited. as fans, our athletes, our coaches, we need this. We need a home coming. We're going to turn this around today. Oh, man, I'm telling you. And I'm telling you, Robert, I'm telling you, it's not going to take very much. A score, an interception, a fumble, and it's just going to spark something and everybody's going to want to be part of it. Everybody. Yeah. I'm talking special teams, uh, everything, coach. Everything. Water boys, water girls, trainers, everybody. Everybody. True leaders. Even everybody, the mascot. Yeah, everybody, everybody and their grandma <laughs> wants to be part of it. <laughs> but regardless of... Uh, Shall we jump into predictions? Let's do it, coach! That's gone enough of this. Jumbo, jumbo. 
You know, let's go. we've been doing this too long. <laughs> well, let's start with AB. But uh, I'm pretty sure everybody knows AB's not here with us. Oh, right AB knows. Uh, AB a- 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 got his uh, his uh, both knees repaired. Yeah, so he waited for four years. Yeah, so good luck in our prayers with AB for recovery. Yeah. From what I understand, he's already up and and maybe a little bit of walking. So yeah, I heard that's he's great. trying to do a cumbia already. So yeah, that's great yeah. news. And keep it up, AB. He's doing the rain dance over there. Oh, oh <laughs> but anyway, so how did we do last week, Coach? I know our heart. Was my Achilles heel? <laughs> oh, I don't want to know because I know I, I know I didn't do that good. Well, now let's recap real quick. Uh, last week we had seven games. Of course, that's our solid. And David, David got five out of seven correct. That's pretty darn good. Yeah. Now Bobby is coming on strong. Seven out of seven. Oh, what? Wow! 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 wow. Good job, Bobby. Yes. And myself, seven out of seven. Not great, bad. Great yeah. job, Rob. <laughs> thank <Right>. you. Thank you. <laughs> Now, AB is still struggling here at 5 out of 7. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, Alex, you started out strong and well, you're struggling. I went, I went with my heart. I knew yeah. I knew we were going to lose, but I just went with my heart. Yeah, so that's uh, 5 out of 5. So uh, so that's, that's pretty good right there. No, 5 out of 7, you mean. Oh, yeah, 5 out of 7. Don't give him any more uh, points. <laughs> I tried. I, I, I tried. I'll take that one, 5 out of 5. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, except for those two. <laughs> So, uh, to run down the scores real quick? or Sure, yeah, yeah, for last week's... Yeah, uh, just real quick, of course, uh, the, fi- the final score of, um, of Cristian Carrizo, excuse me, Divine, Divine I'm, jumping, I'm jumping over already. <laughs> uh, it's, of course, uh, Divine 40, Chris City 8. Let's go ahead and move forward. And <laughs> Pierce saw final score was 34 to Carrizo 13. And now, that was close in the first half. Yes, yes. And uh, Poutine had a bye, and I think they won with a <laughs> bye. I think opponent. Poutine. And a close game. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, in the other areas of the district, it's uh, Eagle Pass win, loss against Ovalde, 43-14. to La Prior destroyed uh, Nueces Canyon, 53-14. to And they're 7-0? 7-0. No, 6-0, because no, yeah, they had a bye. Yeah, they had a bye okay. six last week. And, um, Better go La Prior, man. Better go Rita. And Navarro destroyed Lytle 70 Navarro bench destroyed every every opponent oh, they're being like, what, uh, pretty much every game at over 50 points yeah, or they, over 40 points yeah, they're, they're, they're ranked 5th in the state of Texas yeah they're monsters right? they're monsters actually on a quick note on that we actually uh, gave some friends from Devon uh, that came to see the Crystal City game they were from Lytle they went to go see the game and so after the game we gave them a ride back to Lytle and um, the game had just finished and we, we didn't know about the score yet so we asked one of the coaches that were coming out of the field, Coach, what was the score? I go, uh, 70 to 0. Kind of like nonchalant, like, you know, <laughs> you know we could have done better. <laughs> it was a close 70 to 0. These, uh, these were uh, students from, from Lido? No, that was a coach from Navarro. Oh, no, no, but the ones you took back to Lido, they yeah, were yeah, 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 students from Lido instead of going, going to the Lido game. They were just going to the Crystal. <laughs> they, they went to see the Crystal game. Hopefully, it was a better. Competitive game. Well, it looked like it, it was a better showing. I guess. At least we scored. Yeah, Lido. Yeah, just to finish it off. And Georgian lost against Sinton, thirty-five of eight. Yeah, it was Sinton's expected. Is, it was expected. Yeah, Sinton's you know, Sinton is just a powerhouse. And the last game in the area, Eagle Pass Eagles lost against Laurier United, forty-one to six. So, wow. so which one did I miss? Shoot. Oh, you missed uh, the we Crystal. Missed everybody, Crystal. We, we, uh, uh, you picked Eagle Pass. To win against Laredo United. I know, I know, Dang I went it. with. Uh, no, I thought I had picked Laredo. Crystal. Uh, it's a close one. <laughs> I know it was Car- Carrizo, I mean, Crystal, and what was the other one? And uh, Carrizo I and. Think I think I picked Carrizo. Yes, you picked Carrizo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm not sure what I was, there. I was. I was hoping they turned it around. Maybe you were heavy medicated at the time. <laughs> uh, ABA, yeah, maybe an ABA medication. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's that for that. Uh, so you want to? What are we gonna do? Let's let's go into our tonight's game. Let's go. Let's do predictions. Now AB's not here, so I guess we'll, I'll, I'll cover him first. Yeah, definitely. AB. Now AB's not here, but he takes his results or his uh, predictions. Mm-hmm. So he picked uh, Carrizo. Excuse me. Crystal to win. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> wait a minute. I was like, man, that was the medication. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Somebody get an IV back on this guy. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's been a long day. So, Crystal City wins by a touchdown. That's what AB oh, said. He didn't give an actual score, but a TD. By so, seven. maybe 7-0. Seven seven. Yeah. Maybe 7-0. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. I'll go ahead and go next. Okay. Um, I like Crystal, of course. Home cooking. We're going to need it. We, we're going to actually use it. I feel they're going to get a little spark with either a fumble or a touchdown right off the bat, maybe even a kickoff return. And you know what? I like Crystal 42-7. to 42-7, dude. 
Hagzilla, Hagzilla comes out of hiding. And and uh, I'm gonna go with you the same score on on David's because <laughs> I know Chris is gonna bring it to the table, and they're actually um, hungry. Oh yeah, they're hungry. Well, What's the score? Same score? Same score. Yeah, David. Pretty much, uh, I say 40, 40 to 14. 40 to 14. I even hired those little actresses when the little girls that or the ladies that would sing to Godzilla or Martha to come out. Oh, yeah. I got, I got them. <laughs> kind of like a muse. Or I got them them. in the house. I ordered them online. <laughs> well, I, I guess the realness, I'll, I'll bring it out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they bring it out to reality. Yes. Yeah, Bobby, you know. oh, I see the happiness will beat the Carrizo Springs Wildcats. But I think it's going to be 42 to 21. 42? High score game. Wow. 21. 40, 42. I think the Hazilla defense is wounded. I think Carrizo will find a way to score on us. But uh, I say we're going to double the points, though. Gee, man. 42 to 21. I think it will be a low scoring game. That's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking. Okay. I'm, uh, Felix. Felix, what is your prediction? Felix? What is your prediction, Felix? Since last year, what, they went by a field goal, right? Yes. By a point. Yeah, yeah by a point. By a point. And now we have David, Austin, Luna. Uh, Lopez. Oh, Lopez. Yeah, you got Lopez playing. Oh. And you got Carlos, Carlos Flores. Oh, okay. and your receiver. You're running your fullbacks. You got the area. What is your take? What is your take? I say 21-14. 21-14. Crystal wins. Right, my sevens. All right, and that's that's uh, that's the point of view from a student. From a student. <laughs> from a student. Uh, so what grade are you in? Eighth, Eighth grade. Twenty-one. Eight. What was that? A Mustang. Twenty-one fourteen. Twenty-one fourteen. So you got him. You know, I, I, I kind of like his prediction. Matter of fact, that's what I'm thinking. Low scoring game too. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what I'm thinking. I'm thinking Crystal City wins in a closer game that I'm hoping it won't happen. It won't. It won't happen. But I think it's going to happen. Yeah. For what reason, Crystal's struggling offensively. Um, Carrizo maybe not playing to his full potential, but I think both teams are gonna split it up. Split it. It's gonna raise up their game. <laughs> and but I think Chris is going to win it by a touchdown. I'll give it. He's going to be close. I would say twenty-one to to eighteen or nineteen, something like that. Some sort oh, of you sound like Amy now. Give us the yeah. number. Twenty-one eighteen. <laughs> extra points. Yeah, twenty-one eighteen. Yeah. Let's go. Twenty-one eighteen. Crystal wins. <laughs> How can you get eighteen points? I don't know. They're gonna figure out a way. <laughs> Ain't gonna be no safety. They're gonna, they're gonna uh, knock us down. <laughs> knock us down. <laughs> I don't know, but it's gonna be a close game, though. Robert, just uh, nah, I don't know. I don't know. Well, let's go with nineteen. Then. No, no, six field. Uh, six field. <laughs> maybe. Six field nah, nah, definitely, they ain't talking right now. Six field goals, baby. I like to apologize. It's gonna be so crazy that uh, uh, you know, you throw. That's what happens when this rival was weak. Twenty-four, twenty-one, maybe. Twenty-one, expect, twenty-one, expect, uh, eighteen. Expect, expect I'm gonna expect go with expect that. It. Big 21 to negative 10. Now, <laughs> now, let me talk about the simulator now. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Tell so us what the computer is telling us. The computer, the computer, you know, you know, it's big blue here. And, you know, the computer thinks the score is going to be Kurt City, 55, Carissa 0. Oh, Hell yeah. Oh. I like that one. <laughs> I, think, I, think I, hope he's, I hope he's right. Yo, geez. Well, that's, that's closer to what I have. So 55 and 0. Hogzilla comes with a vengeance. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, computer wasn't wrong last time. No, no. Anyways, I wanted to have some fun with this. And just for, just to give you some example, if there was for a reason a sandstorm, Crude City was still predicted to win 41-0. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. We, 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 we love the sand. The sand. Now, to take it out to a different notch, if there was a, a nuclear holocaust during the game, <laughs> Chris City was going to win 33-0. Oh, yeah, even yeah. the radiation can stop. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I got my NASA suit. <laughs> but you know what? Honestly, I think they both feed off each other. When the offense does well, the defense steps up. Yeah. When the defense steps up in whatever manner, the offense replies. Yeah. So I think... They're going to feed off of each other, and I think either the Sparks are coming there defensively, offensively, either a big run or a big stop or a fumble, interception, something, and it's going to snowball. I'm telling you, I think once they get the momentum going, they're going to be like the juggernaut. I think so. From think Marvel. So. You know what I mean? Once he gets full speed, there's nothing in the world that he can stop They him. can't stop him. Nope. Now, I forgot to mention the point spread. Crit City is predicted to win by eight points. Yeah. That's the, what the point spread is. So, so even the professional thing is going to be a close game. So let me tell you, it's going to be crazy tonight. Fans are going to be out there. It's going to be loud. I mean, it's going to be some people out there that you've never seen in a while. I think 
It's even bigger than Homecoming. I'll be honest. Oh yeah, yeah it's, 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 gonna, it's gonna be a standing, monster. Standing room. Yeah, I mean, so much on the line. I, I think when Crizo and Crystal play, either town doubles up in size that evening. You know, from seven thousand, we go to almost ten thousand. I yeah. think it, it's just crazy. And, and at, at this game, there's no. <laughs> make, make, make sure you stop by the concession no stand, though. The other compadres, is there's no. Primos, there's oh, nothing. Man. Until the end of the game, then it's different. Yeah, well, we have brother, a, we have a brother of, yeah, we have and I, and I even know some friends. I know some friends that are married. Their wives are from Carrizo, and they're from Crystal, yeah. and they sit separately. You know, yeah. you know, you go to Carrizo, I'm going to Crystal. Yeah, we, we have a lot of that. <laughs> you know, so we're we're friends, we're compadres, we're primos, brothers. But on Friday night, rivalry week. From 7.30 to about 10.30, 11 o'clock, ain't nothing hey. going there. Well, really. so, somebody wants bragging rights, and that's what it calls. Yeah, it comes for down a whole to, year. For a whole year, bragging rights. I mean, I, I I wrote that one point win, man. And even that, when I was over there at the opposing team, I told them, wow, we kicked your butt. They're like, bye, you beat us by one. I'm like, it's all it took. One more to beat you down. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Win is a win. It, it doesn't the, you know, matter. You yeah, going for the big W. I love it. So uh, I, I just wrote it all. That everybody I saw I was like, ooh, we whooped you. It's like, ah, one point. Like, no, man. You I'm guys, telling you. You guys this? protested it. You guys did everything. I felt like it was, you thought it was Obama. You <laughs> protested everything. We won. <laughs> worse, <laughs> worse than the... The council meeting here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> by, by, no, it wasn't 30%. It was... Yeah. <laughs> you beat you by, by that, that much. much. <laughs> well, the good thing about football, the only good thing about football is they won't raise taxes. It's not even 30%. It's about 20-some percent. <laughs> it's 20 percent. We beat you. <laughs> but either way, it's going to be a hell of a game, I think. I think it's going to be a hell of a game tonight. I, I feel that, you know, like you said, Robert, it could be a close game because it's, you know, a rivalry game. But I just see the heavens just too too much talent, too much talent on our side. And I, it's going to help us. And I'm, I'm hoping it, it's a blowout. And it has to be a key game for the Javelinas going into now once we're here in the district. Because once we beat Carrizo, we're going to beat Petit. And once we get that, that momentum goal with two wins in a row, it's going to be a tough want, for Pearsall. You don't, you don't want to stop. Yeah. I would love to have a shout-out. The Hogzilla defense that had never had a shout-out all season, I would love to have it right now, Yeah, this game. A yeah. Zero big old goose egg. Uh, uh, big old. I, goose. I know. I know. ab has been wanted. I wanted a major shutout and a seventy. Maybe who knows? Maybe he'll, he'll get his wish. I know. I would, he, I would love he, that. He didn't, didn't call it, but uh, maybe he'll he'll get his wish. Hey, I'll tell I'm you sure that. if he gets that seventy and seventy, uh, a shutout with a seventy and uh, seventy hey, and old, I'll tell you. Party, walk home. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go meet him. I'll go meet him halfway. But you know what? If we win tonight and we win the rest of the see, uh, the games in the district. How many is are, are, are what? Eight and two? Yeah, eight and two. And we're going to be riding high for the playoffs. Playoffs. And, and we, get, we get that one week off to this get ready. This could be a nice building block for the I love playoffs. this game as a key uh, game uh-huh. to making that, that, that turnaround right now. Yeah. Turn that curve. So, boys, you play with all your heart. You play like it's the biggest game of your lives. You go out there and you manhandle whoever's in front of you. You take him down and tell him, don't get up because you're going to get the same thing every time. Don't stop blocking until you hear that whistle. You hang on to somebody yeah, and, and, and engage. If, and if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hold them. It's only, them. <laughs> it, it's only holding if they see it. If they see it. If they, if they you guys can do this. First and foremost, you have to believe it. And, and then is everything else and hold the ball with two hands. Woo! There's if you go into a ground, hold it. Yeah, they, they're gonna go for every single play in their book. Yep, they're gonna throw everything at you because they know that you guys have a lot of talent. Yeah, Car- Carrizo always has done this in the last few years. Is they, they don't they don't play like having it where we play straight up football. No, they play junior high ball. They they they'll do the reverses. They'll do all these other yeah you to know, win. You know, when they do the trick plays, the pitch pass, yeah. and that's something that we need to address as well because that's what keeps some defenses honest as, at times. But mm-hmm. I think we're gonna be able to run the ball on these guys. Yeah, and, yeah. No and we just gotta make some. Uh, we gotta start make uh, creating some chaos in the backfield. We gotta get up. We gotta go straight up. These linemen have to go straight up and disrupt whatever pattern or play they're trying to get. And and once we do that, everything will fall into place. Yeah, quarterback starts pa- uh, panicking, throws a little pass out to the receiver where he should be, and guess what? He's not there. There's a secondary there. You know what I mean? Now let me go deep. Now that's what we're here for. The other guys' portion. We go beyond the numbers here. 
yeah, yeah. Let fine. me go it's now. Bring it around. Like we mentioned, we we have faced Carrizo eighty-seven times now. Overall record, it's not too good with Carrizo, but uh, if people want to know, we have twenty-nine wins. Uh, eighty-seven times we faced Carrizo. We have beaten twenty-nine times. Carrizo has beaten us fifty-six times. For the last ten years, Robert, how has it been? Well, wait, hold on, hold on. It ought to have been two ties in, in the game. Now, okay, let's bring it back. Uh, in the last five games against Carrizo, we've been two and three. So we're still, we're still on. Yeah, two and three in the last five games. Now, uh, beyond the, uh, the last ten games, we've been six and four. And so, so we got a slight edge on him on the Yes, in the last ten games, we've been six and four. So in other words, just re- within recent memory, it's been real competitive. Yeah. And so it can go either either or. Like well, for the last saying. two games in the last two two years, uh, it's been decided by eight points. That's it. Eight points. That's, that's what makes the difference in the past two years. Yeah. So it's tight. Yeah, it's tight. Hell of a game. I hope it's not. I hope it's a one-sided flop that Chris City just comes in and just runs all over them. Yeah, steamrolls on Steamroll yes. and don't stop. Yeah, that's what I want. And even after they blow the whistle and the game's over, I hope they keep on going. I would love it. Let's oh, go. You know what I mean? So anyway, so we got scores. Um, what else we got on our district, Robert? Oh, you want to jump in real yeah, quick? Yeah, let's go. Let's do this. Okay, let's go. We'll jump in real quick. Um, the next district game, Poteet. Coming to the game, off a bye. Three and three facing Pearsaw at seven and zero at Pearsaw. So they have two weeks to get ready for Pearsaw. Exactly. Now Pearsaw right. is favored by eighteen points by the professionals. By eighteen points. By eighteen points. But uh, I think that's kind of off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's uh, go with AB first. AB predicts Pearsaw to win by two TDs. That's what AB says. So <laughs> <laughs> AB's too sick. <laughs> he, he might be heavily medicated. Maybe yeah. too much pain in the knees. Yeah. yeah. God, I mean. I, you know, so you, know you know us. You know us. We've been, I've, I've loved Poti from the beginning. They're a better team than last year. They're a better team than from the past two years. Um, they have two weeks to get ready for for Pearsall. I think they make the adjustments. I, I honestly really feel that they've got a certain game plan to get ready for Pearsall. Ah, is it enough? No. That's tough. Lial, a beast. If they can stop Lial. They can have a chance. So you know what? Upset right here. Poti. Oh, wow. Poti. Wow. Poti. Man, wow, nasty. Where are they playing? In Poti, right? No, Pearsall. No, they're in Pearsall. The I, fast, don't, the I, don't, I don't care. So you have they have two weeks to yeah. game plan. They had two Poti. weeks to watch videos. They probably had to huddle. Oh, man. Oh, oh, I'm God. sure they did. And, sure, sure. and so awesome. I'm pretty sure all the board members have huddled. Oh, yeah. Right there. So <laughs> we, I know maybe, we don't have it. Maybe from Poteet. Maybe from Poteet. Gone. So <laughs> no, that's what I meant. Poteet. So you tell me. You tell me if Poteet is not. You tell me if Poteet is not ready. You tell me if they're not ready. They are ready. I mean, I, book I, wise, I mean, book wise, they're ready. Poteet been playing good this year also, no. but I don't think they're gonna step to the level of the Pearsall. And let me tell you, Pearsall struggled a little bit with the Carrizo Springs Wildcats. They were a close game in the half. They just blew them out in the second half. Can they play another tough team? Poti. That's the question. So, so give me so, Poti. So, so what's your Poteet. score? What's the score? Uh, it's going to be a high-scoring game. Are we going to put this point spread on, on those games or not? Usually I don't mark okay. them, but you can say it. You want okay. to. Uh, I say 35 to 28. 35? Yep. 28. Uh, I, I'm going to go with Pearsall. Pearsall, they want to keep that, 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 that yeah, they do. The, the, the undefeated record. Well, and I know uh, Poti <laughs> wants to shut him down, want to uh, get a first yeah. loss, but I don't think Poti's going to come out and beat Pearsall, especially on a fast clock home, playing home in Pearsall. Yeah, Pearsall. I'm, I'm going to go with Pearsall. Tweaky hands there. And I'm going to throw a, a score to 26 to 14. 26 14. Let them know, Bobby. Let them know. Uh, I'm going to be the realist here. I think it's going to be a closer game. I think Poti is going to be ready for Pearsall. I think Pearsall will win this game, but it's going to be one of those bad football games where low scoring. I'll say it's going to be maybe 14 to 13. Oh, that was 14. Well, that close. I'm also... An extra point. Takes takes Pearsall out of the victory. I agree with they, Bobby. It will be a close game. They missed the they missed the field goal. Poti will miss a field goal. But I heard the kicker is not doing too well right now. 
<laughs> Good for you. <laughs> and I don't have auto, so I, I'm, I'm just guessing, guys. Yeah, but we're, that really helps, right? If we we're get we're turning off the hip here. <laughs> Go ahead. What do you got? I'm, I'm also I'm going with Pearsall in a close game, but I will not be shocked if Putin wins this one. I'm telling you, man. I will not no, be shocked. I, 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 Two I, weeks? It, it will surprise. It will surprise us if, if Putin yeah. wins. No, I, I think no. Putin has a great chance. I think they have a good chance. That's why it's that close. I just give the edge. To Let me tell you. But, but, that but, running back is... is it's a one-trick pony. It's, 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 somebody tried to beat him. Who was it that? It was a close game. They, they held him, but... That was... End, uh, what was it? Jordan? Jordan. It wasn't... Jordan. Yeah. yeah. Jordan. Yeah. Jordan. 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 There was help. zero or zero something in the half or something the like that. Quarter, like the yeah. Quarter. Yeah. They, 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 they stressed it out in the fourth quarter. So I, that's why I say it's going to be a... I think it's going to be pure saw, but I think to continue this win streak, be heavy on pure saw shoulders, but I think pure saw is going to win. But I don't think Putin have much defense or any. So that's why it's going to be a high scoring game. It is going to be a high scoring game, but I'll give pure saw. Oh, I'm wow. like, uh, I don't know, well, 34, well, look at it. Look 34, at it. 28. Look at it. Poteet, two weeks studying their offense, two weeks studying their defense. They're going to know, oh, they for, they line up in a formation. They're going to, oh, they're going left, they're going left. But but I'll tell you this, they, everybody knows what everybody's running. Yeah. I, I, I mean, it's all, can about, stop it? it's all about execution, and it don't matter. It's big boy versus big boy, and let's it, see who has it. I bet you're going to have two guys keen on Leon. Yeah, I mean that's that's, <laughs> that's what you gotta do, you know. But it, it opens up the offense. But what do you like? Well, Poteet. Oh, 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 that's my man, Poteet. Since they're, con- they're somebody ate too many sinkles already. Since, <laughs> since that streak is gonna get their confidence too high, they're gonna say, "Oh, it's gonna be an easy win." Yeah, the high overconfident. So it might be a trap game. So Who's- I'm saying Poteet's gonna win. Same score as same score. 35-28? Same score. Man. Man, you guys, you that's, guys, not, that's not, not coincidence. That's not coincidence. You guys are eating some singles here from Yoli Steakhouse, which is <laughs> some awesome food. I want to thank great you for tea. Uh, yeah, great, tea. great water. I'm, I'm thank you for accommodating us, the other guy's sports show here yeah. at Yoli. Well, you want to run up the games or? Real quick, or what? Let's go. Yeah. yeah. Let's, go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, that's our district. Let's go jump in. La Prior, Lytle at 1-5. At La Prior at seven and zero, poor poor, La, poor excuse me not uh, I said Lytle Lakey 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 Lakey. Now they're playing. Who's playing La Prior against Freer, isn't it? No, La Prior's playing Lakey. Lakey yeah. and La Prior and La Prior, Savala County. Ah, okay. La Prior. I'm taking La Prior. Poor poor Lakey. Uh, I feel bad for him. Matter of fact, Lakey beat La Prior last year. Oh, that's but, right. 44, 42 in overtime. That was surprising. But, uh, no, but last is, year. It's not going to happen this no, year. No, no, it's not going to happen this year. Uh, I, I completely agree. Uh, the, the prior got a revenge, and they've been playing <laughs> unbelievable. The, yeah. the, the prior is going to whoop I, I, them. I, I, yeah, I go with the prior. I think the prior is just going to whoop on them. And I'm then, also going with the prior. And then at the prior, I don't think they can stop that running no. attack from Bliss. And the prior has that back of their head. They lost last year, so they're going to run the score. I'm yeah, they're not gonna you. stop. Man. And uh, AB goes with La Power too. Matter of fact, even the simulator goes for La Power. Man, the simulator is, is ruthless. Seven to six to zero. Whoa! Oh. I believe it. <laughs> and, and then, I wouldn't be surprised. We're expecting a lot of wind that day, though. Five to ten miles on Friday. It's Friday, so it's gonna be some great games. Man, it's gonna be beautiful. Okay, let's go and jump what into. Do you like La Power? Oh yes. Yeah. There you go. La Power, good man. You raised a smart set. Yep. <laughs> let's go, uh, Valde. Had an impressive win last week. Uh, coming to the game at four and two, and I'll go, they're heading to Laredo Nixon at two and four. I'm taking Ovalde. Yeah, Ovalde's got. Too I much. know they're playing in, in, you know, Nixon. Nixon, they're stingy defense. They're actually a stingy team at all. Period. Uh, they play nasty, but I know Ovalde's going to take it. Uh, AB selected uh, Ovalde too on this one. I went with you, Valde, Robert. Me too. I'm going with Valde too yeah, in this one. Maybe Ovalde. in a closer game than people think. Yeah, because Nixon really hasn't really been blown out by anybody, really. They've been in it. So I wouldn't be surprised if Nixon wins at home, but uh, I think Valde still has you know too much firepower, so give me Valde. Valde in this one. Okay. Yeah. Straight across the board. Let's go now. The fire again. Yeah! yeah it's <laughs> still there. Since, since they did. We're against Valde and Nixon. Valde? 
Nixon? You're going to go with Nixon? Oh, wow, yeah. Laredo. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Since it's in their, it's in their territory. Yeah. And Laredo teams have played good at home. Oh, so, yeah. So, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Like I said, I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, let's go jump in. Minna Valley. Now, Minna Valley at 4-2 at Somerset. At 5-1. Oh, that's a good game. That should be a good game, yeah. a good game yeah. at Somerset. That's gonna, actually, that's going to be a good game right there. Uh, Somerset. I, I'm taking Somerset. Somerset is just being a powerhouse this year. That's yeah. a, Somerset. Yeah, well, Somerset, of course, I mean, they've been blowing out teams left and right. I think Medina Valley is capable of putting a good, uh, putting up a, a good numbers with Somerset, but it's going to be a closer game than I, than most people think because Somerset, uh, Medina Valley don't want to fall too behind in the district. And um, Medina Valley has been playing some good ball. I mean, uh, let me give you examples of some teams that they played. Medina Valley, uh, they played against Bernie. They barely lost 21-28. They played against Hondo, blew them out 48-27. Uh, they beat Cigarroa 40-23. And then they beat up CC Wynn 28-7. And then, of course, they played against Nixon last week and, and beat them 14-10. So Medina Valley can, can, you know, this is going to be a key game. But Somerset just too darn strong. <laughs> so you go with Somerset. Yeah, yeah. Somerset just... Bobby, go I, I thought I was going to get an edge on David again, but uh, yeah, he came to his senses. I think Somerset was going to take care of this. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm also a summer, a Somerset on this one. Uh, considering they lost their, what was it, all state quarterback, and somehow Somerset's rallying around. And one area that Somerset's room impressive is their defense. They've been shutting people down left and right. So I'm going uh, Somerset, not even a close game. Yeah. Somerset still got that. Uh, that, court, that that what was it the one quarterback right yeah. the one that was the well, yeah that she was looking over yeah uh, he's out for a season though yeah he's out for a season but they still were able to come on Dico man yeah uh huh who do you pick Felix Somerset Somerset yeah. I don't know yeah so that wasn't uh, much there I mean, Somerset lost to Calhoun though Ooh. so now yeah. the, the next game yes yes on the next Very game is gonna be Ingleside Mustangs now at one and five at Jordanton Indians at three and four. No, nah. Ingleside. And they're, and they're yeah. playing in Jordanton. Yeah, in yeah, Jordanton, yeah. exactly. I'll take Jordanton. It's almost like a toilet bowl. Well, yeah, but actually, Jordanton has they they've surprisingly been pretty good this year. Decent games. I mean, even though they lost, I mean, they almost beat. Keep, keep in mind, the winner of this game might even go to playoffs. So this might be their ticket. Their ticket to the playoffs. No. Whoever wins and this I one, I think the wins that uh, Jordanton has had, they've been home games. I believe so. Well, other than uh, against Pearsall, I think they lost against Pearsall. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay. Huh. And Jordanton. So, David, you go for who? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Jordanton's. Yeah, give me Jordanton. Jordanton. Who are they playing against? Uh, Ingleside. Ingleside. I'll get Ingleside, matter of fact. Really? Yeah, I'll get Ingleside because I'll be looking at them. Ingleside have been playing t- tougher opponents. Yeah, they have, but. So, so I'll go with Ingleside in this one. I don't know how healthy Ingleside is, though. Yeah, that's true. You they've, know. Been, they've been pretty. And yeah. AB uh, selected Ingleside also on this one. Oh, wow. Yeah. Bobby? How do you feel like Ingleside. 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 That was pretty even. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, so we'll see Bobby. Man. This is this is a close game, though. Yeah, yeah. It might be a, more like a, a, a flip coin or a flip of a coin here. Well, on, on, the, on the polls, it, it has Ingleside 53%, Jordan thinks 47%. Jeez, so it's close right there. It's going to be a close game. Uh huh. Oh, man. Well, to give him more information, uh, I'm going to give Alex a bone here and go with Jordanton. Jordanton. My picks go down. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan. I got to bring him up. Now, on the last game of our picks here, it's going to be now, this might be some uh, interesting ramifications. Uh, it's possible the winner of here, we might face in the playoffs. It's going to be Lytle at 2 and 5 at Wimberley at 1 and 6. Yeah, wow, Wimberley is being. I, I, I want to call it Lytle. You can go Lytle this one on the upset. Wow. Now, uh, Wimberley is a 14 point favorite. <laughs> we can change it if you want to. No, no, no. I think I should go with Wimberley. Oh. 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 Thanks, Rob. Uh, Rob. I think Somerset will just won't, I mean, kill Wimberley. So, Lytle. Uh, Lytle no, I'm, at I'm, Wimberley. I'm going to go back to Wimberley. You're going Wimberley this one. Yeah, you convinced me, Rob. Thanks. Save me my pick. Well, let me give you more information then. You can, uh, you can put an asterisk to my pick then. Now, and, uh, <laughs> and the simulator says Wimberley wins it 10 or 7. 
Oh wow! Wow. So, <laughs> now uh, I'm going with Wimberley. They're, they're playing at Texas State. I yeah. mean, and this this might be our, our our one of these teams we're gonna be facing in playoffs. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I, it depends. So you want the easier team? Yeah, you do. So I'm going with Wimberley this one too. Uh, I don't know uh, because I was real impressed that Lytle scored 20 points against Divine early in the season. So apparently, you know, if Lytle can score her points. Now, of course, they got shut down by... But then again, yeah, they, then they got shut down by, by Navarro. By Navarro. Navarro. Yeah, so, you know, Navarro it's hard to tell. Different level football players. So, right I'll pick Wimberley in a close game. Maybe by uh, by three points. Yeah, I'll, give me Wimberley. Yeah. Who you got, Felix? Wimberley. But I say it's going to be a touch, just by touchdown yeah. 7 14. Something like that. They'll probably score in the fourth quarter. Probably say zero zero. I don't know how healthy Lionel is after getting butt whooped by by yeah. Navarro seventy to zero. Yeah, as a matter of fact, last week Wimberley with that was the first win of the season against uh, what was it, Lano? Lano. Yeah, uh-huh. Lano's not doing too well this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. So exactly. So so that concludes. Oh, you want, uh, that concludes the area. You have a given week, David. <coughs> Well, okay. do honestly, I don't. I don't think we can pick a game of the week. Uh, I mean, I I'm looking for the Carrizo Crystal game. That that's gonna yeah. be our, our game of the week. I think so. Unless you got one. No, I, I got one. but I'm gonna I'm gonna select it. I'm uh, around the Austin area for sure. I'm picking. Uh, this is a five A division, <coughs> division one. It's Vandergraaff Vipers, ranked four in state at six and zero at Cedar Hill, Cedar Park. Excuse me. At also a six and zero, number one in state. Wow, and so this might be for this should be a heck of a game. Yeah. If I'm not, if I'm around that area, I wouldn't mind checking it out. But of course, I'll be in Crystal game. Oh yeah, I think everybody's <laughs> gonna be in that Crystal game. <laughs> but wow. uh, you know, if you're around the area, David, like you said, to follow the lights and follow the lights. I mean, any Friday or Thursday or Saturday, but mainly Friday night. You want to go see a football game? Look up to wow. a little bit above the horizon of the city. You'll see the the, the game. Well, my game of the week will be. A nice game. It'll be Hondo versus Navarro. Oh, uh, because I would love to see Hondo just get that. They're going to get their bell rung, but not for the right reasons. Oh. Over where? At Hondo? It, it, it was going to be at Navarro. Oh, Navarro. man. I would love to see that. They will be ringing some bells. Is that oh. going to be a homecoming? It might be a homecoming <laughs> for Navarro. <laughs> and Erwin Lee Field, so. Wow. Well, I mean, Navarro's just destroying. Let me ask you this. Will they score more than 70 points? Uh, I hope so. You hope so? <laughs> well, actually, if, if you're in the San Antonio area, I like uh, this game that's coming out. Actually, it was picked as game of the week for the San Antonio area for 6 8 teams. It's going to be Churchill Chargers uh, 4 and 3 against Reagan, which are 7 and 0 this year. Yeah, Reagan playing good. Reagan, yeah, Reagan. Oh, undefeated. But. They're in the same district, and I f- uh, believe Churchill's making a really. They've won their last three games, so I think they're trying to keep that in, going. So they might put a good game against Reagan. So if you're out there, in San Antonio, Churchill High School Chargers versus Reagan Rattlers at Reagan Stadium. So you might check that one out too. Yeah, definitely. All right. So anyway, so let's take a quick break, and uh, we'll be back. Finish up with the. College and Cause NFL. Said confidential. And, cause, <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, we'll go into detail now. Yes. We will. All right. So we'll be right back. So stay tuned with the other guy's sports show on KGR 94.3. 94.3. Also, make sure you all visit Yoli's Steakhouse. The awesome good, place. Good food. All right. Here check, we go. check us out online. Don't forget that. Like us on Facebook. And yeah, we're going to destroy the Wildcats. And, yep. Let's go. All right, Hog Nation, welcome back to the Other Guy Sports Show, where we're just talking about Texas high school football. But you know what? I think we covered enough of that. It's district plays in many areas. Playoffs are taking an effect right now because where you fall, that means who you're going to meet in the other district. So you don't want to fall too low. Nope. You might as well not make the playoffs. You're gonna fall that low, especially you meet up with Navarro. Oh yeah, remember that happened to Carrizo last year? Yeah, they barely, they beat Protein. They were all excited. I don't know what for. They're gonna go meet Navarro. And they just got creamed. Yeah, they got rolled over. Well, <laughs> I was impressed by that running back. 
um, Rodriguez, he, he actually had a great touchdown against Navarro. And, he, <laughs> and he's doing well right now in college as well. Oh, that's really? Right wow, that's great to playing with. Uh, I'm not sure, but I saw Ricky Gallegos put posting it. Again. Oh, really? That's great. So, so good for him, though. Oh, yeah. great. Yes. Hey, Tom, and I mean, it's always good. Yeah, local. Even if it's from uh, La Prior, uh, Uvalde, I like our anything in our area. Our surrounding neighbors. I, I know and I don't want to. I, I don't want to say it now because we're playing against Carrizo. Yes, but yes. I'm always happy for Carrizo after us. So after we after we defeat them and everything. Yeah. But you know, I think they're our friendly neighbors. But yeah. right, I mean, right now and, I don't and like it. Them. It really doesn't matter. Uh, I know it's rivals, but when any player in any sports, football, basketball, volleyball, volleyball track, in their surrounding neighborhood area. Make it to another level in the college and the college uh, uh, aspect. It, we're so proud of everyone. Yeah, great job. Yeah. Yes, and what it represent, you know, especially and, in the and region. Keep area. going. I mean, you always go. Never get satisfied with what you achieve. Always go an extra step. Especially if you got that talent. To yes. Do so I know we have one of our volleyball players, uh, uh, Mandy Joe. Yeah, she moved. Uh, Joe Flores' yeah. daughter, yeah. and she's uh, what uh, first year in Tennessee. And she's out there with Tennessee. What's the mascots over there? I think. Oh my uh, goodness! I can't remember on that one, but we'll get back on that on, yes. the, on the mascot. I, I gotta get her on Facebook. And, and we also have um, Sepulveda. I think is uh, um, the playing with uh, one of the boys. We, have, we actually have like three Hawaiians playing for that same college. Yeah. Which is great, and, and always yeah. great, great job in that aspect. Great it, opportunity, you know, great, uh, great opportunity. You know, and not only that, you know, not only that to continue playing at a different level of, of the sport, but also get an education as well. Yes, great job on that. And, 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 and and education is the most important thing. Yeah. Grades are very, very important. Okay, uh, Robert, but let's, Robert, let's go to the. Let's go. One of our favorite segments. Everybody keeps telling me uh, off the air. Are you guys going to do concession stand confidential? Oh, we do. Yes, we do. Oh, yeah, we love it. Oh yeah. <laughs> so you want to so, kick it off? Let, let's kick it off. When we got there, we got there early. We got we went in with time. It was divine, of course, divine edition. Yeah, the divine edition, and this is a concession stand. Um, location, it was okay. It was decent. We had to walk a little bit halfway, you know, towards the, the end zone, right? Yeah, it was on the end zone on the east. No, yeah, on the east yeah, side the of east the field. Um, the only thing I had against it, it had, they had great choices. They had a menu. That they you, they gave you and you yeah. can pick from there. As a matter of fact, I'll put a picture up there in the Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll see it. Yeah, the, the the and they had options of different kinds. Um, the only thing about it, um, great service. The only thing about the hamburger, I, I we bought a hamburger. Uh, my wife thought it was a little salty. Yes, it was. I took I I, I got a, a cheeseburger. Well, I ordered for a cheeseburger. I ended up getting a hamburger. <laughs> uh, but and Worked yes, the, it was salty. It was salty. Yes. So, okay, so it wasn't just my wife. So, uh, but other than that, she finished it. I mean, I, I'm she sure was she was hungry. hungry. <laughs> With hunger, anything goes. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, Erica told me they're salty, but I was hungry. Yeah, anymore. All right. So, um, in that sense, they had a lot of choices. Uh, we got. Uh, I believe I got. Frito pie with chili and cheese and jalapeno. You know, you know, I had heartburn all night that night. So um, I would rate it. Oh, and also let me let me add this. I think they had too many kids manning the the, the front. Yeah, I think so too. And, I think I saw a whole bunch of kids, uh huh. And a lot of them had trouble, especially in bigger orders, how to calculate the the total. So we had to assist. The, the, the little boy that was helping us, we kind of helped him, like, oh, you know, this is how much it is. For a second there, I thought I was in the Philippines, a bunch of kids well, and running the, around. And divide, there's no labor law. So <laughs> no labor law. For a child. It doesn't apply over there. No, no, that's, oh, it's, a, it's a different county. Oh, I understand. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, if you win enough, the, the laws don't precise to you. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, I would give it a, a, a B plus. A B plus. Uh, also, I, I don't understand why the Catechan was in the, in the, in the end zone, the east side. Yeah. yeah. Divine had two huge concession stands on, on the other side. side. Yeah, I don't understand why it couldn't be in the, on on the visitor side. So I did that point off of that. Well, at least closer to the yeah, exactly to the visitor to, side. To the visitor well, side. coach, when you win as much as they do, they can do whatever they want. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> they have bragging rights over there. <laughs> Gee, so anyway, so uh, the drinks were cold. Yeah, the nachos were good, and also saw the um. But what other area that I, it wasn't good? The sausage wrap. My sister got a sausage wrap, and she said it was, it was nasty. I and saw I saw that picture. You, you saw a picture. Yeah, I think that was burned I, or I something. Think, I think that wasn't no sausage wrap. I think, believe it kind of looked like a bratwurst or something. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it looked nasty. Uh, 
But uh, besides that, so like the kids, that was a big no no too. I never liked that. I had to, I think I have to repeat my order like yeah, three times. Three times uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and it couldn't, you know, so it, it was tough uh, on that. And uh, but besides that, it was okay. I was there early, you know, it was fast, relatively fast, I guess. So I give it a uh, what score did you give it? Give B plus. It? Yeah, I think I would give it a, a, a B. B. Yeah, B. Solid B. Another thing, and AB wanted me to mention it, was that they actually had a line just for uh, handicap. handicap. Oh, that's so right. if you were in a wheelchair or something, oh, it, like it was a line, and he was like the first one there, and like, and he ordered a big meal, and he he brought it uh, uh, to Erica. And they were satisfied, other than maybe the salty burger or something like that. But he liked that that they had an actual uh, handicap accessibility for the for the well, uh, handicap. And, and that point, for that perspective, though, and uh, having that for accommodating handicaps, yeah. I give I give them an, an A. There you go, an A plus on that end. There you go. But you know what? I think why we're so critical on other concession stands, I think it's because the athletic booster club here at home has just raised the bar beyond. Oh, yeah. And, and and I think they just try to outdo themselves. Their only obstacle is themselves. <laughs> yes. Oh, well, we need more volunteers, though. For today's game, if you're out there, you want to help us out for an hour or so, that's our biggest problem. And one of the things that we do say, we don't want any kids up front because that's the biggest problem. But we do. We we are adding to our menu, and I, I, I don't know if I mentioned it off air or not, but it was, we're going to add corn in a cup. We're going to add uh, fajita tacos. And sausage wraps. Right. So for uh, you also the, mentioned the, pizzas. Young, oh, and pizzas. Wow. So we're, favorites. We just don't know we're going with with pan or we're gonna go with slices. That's the, that's we're, we're waiting for Little Caesars to get back on. Oh wow! Okay, Little Caesars, nice. Because they have that deep deep dish where it's basically oh, yes. big Man, slices. Man, y'all expanding so, up. Because we're expecting a lot of people. We want to get catered to our kids as well and adults. That's where the corn and... And I know you guys have a lot of lines going all the time, so... We have you know, lines going, and we, we're expecting some people to come help us, but if anybody has some free time, you can enjoy a free meal if you help oh, us out. Oh, it's, and it's and it here. And, and we do give out free accessories that they have. Don't, don't forget, forget that they also have the uh, value meal, so what is it? We, we do have combo special, combo special. Which, and we can add the combo special with any big item, with like the sausage wrap, corn. It's can't always for $6, you get the... You get the meal, uh, the main dish, fries or chips, and a soda. We have twenty ounce drinks, cold, 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 cold. Man, cold it feels like I'm at the Spinach Festival. Yeah. Oh, that, that, and, and we have burritos, corn dogs, and we have Frito pies, nachos. Uh, we have some French fries that are I heard nice. French ones, yeah. Man, they, they, they've been a best seller. Don't forget to add that you have also have uh, caps, yeah, and we have some having a caps there, and some having a apparel. The can't stop us or unstoppable t-shirts and the cancer awareness shirts for the month of October yeah. for the month of October we'll uh, be having them there one thing Bobby I know last year you were selling those uh, yellow towels yellow towels yeah uh, are you going to have something like that for this game we're, we're, we have some extra yellow towels so uh, I think you also mentioned maybe some, some megaphones megaphones we're thinking of either giving them away. I want to give them away but it's a booster decision I'm not a dictator okay. on my on my board here but, <laughs> but we're really going to try to set them out at the entrance because what I'm trying to get is to the first 100 people just give them away but, so there you but go fans my, my, my booster saying we need to give to the loudest probably hey maybe people. you can give a donation to the little booster Sabaton. Sabaton. <laughs> there you go <laughs> we, we need the fans to be heard we need to be the 12th man out there we need, oh, that's yes. what we yeah, want I saw that happen a couple of times against Divine remember that we were you know, they were third down and we were like really loud and they did a false start once and then the other one was two men yeah. of motion yeah, and and then that, that, that would help and, us out. And you guys, I mean, I'm, I'm proud of you guys because my, my daughter told me that you guys make a difference out there. And oh, I'm my proud to you guys, you know. Yeah, no, and, we, we just need to get the crowd. We're all in, man. We're all in. We're, we're, and, we're and, committed. And, and I'm pop up there. I'm going to be in the press box bringing it to KGR 94.3. There you go. Even, the, even there were some people in front of us, they, we were too loud. They moved out of the way. Oh, yeah. There, <laughs> yeah, there, there were some people that moved. There, I mean, moved. but... So be it. Yeah, everybody it is, drinks, it is what it is. Everybody drinks, drinks their Kool Aid differently. You know what I mean? <laughs> but either way, confidential concession stand. Confidential. Done with. Great job. Not too bad. Divide. Yeah. You know, maybe more concession stands on our side. But as long as you're winning, I guess it's your world. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah I mean, we also have the band booster. Make sure you, you support them as well. Yeah, the band. We're, we're, we're all in it for our kids. It's, yes. It's, it's an equal opportunity. We're both. Doing the same thing is for our kids. Exactly. We're just having to be for the athletic, and they're, they're for the band. 
and they do scholarships. We're trying to bring scholarships into our deal, but we try to help with equipment. Yeah. And we bought a. You, and you know, know, there's always needing for the equipment. Last year we spent over twenty five thousand dollars over on it. Great job. So we did Good job. The hell out of that Good wow. job. Good job. So buddy. hey. Uh, you know, my, if you see Bobby out there, give him a little panda bag. Tell him thank you for all your work and uh, for all the people that help him. Volunteer. Hey, volunteer. <laughs> help him out. Don't pat me in the back. You'll hurt. You'll hurt. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so okay. let's, uh, we're, we're done college. with that's that. It. So let's go into the yeah, college. We'll make it quick, though. We're pressing out of time here. Let's go. Because I want to go sit down and go watch that game. <laughs> okay. The, the first game in college will be number 10, Alabama. Oh. At number 9, Texas A&M. They're playing where? At A and M College Station. College Station. <laughs> oh, gee. Give me Texas A and M. A and M. A and M. A and M. I tell you what. I tell you this, Robert. I'm gonna go with maroon and white. <laughs> They're both maroon and white. Alabama's <laughs> red. Yeah, yeah. Crimson yeah, red. It was crimson red. It was crimson red. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Alabama. Keep. Bob, you stole my thunder. I'm going with Alabama too. I'm going with Alabama. <laughs> I'm going with Alabama. Felix? Alabama. 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 Oh, yeah. well, I think Texas a has a great shot at this one. I think they can do it, though. Their defense is playing solid, hey, too. Texas beat Oklahoma? Yeah. So, uh, that was a surprise, man. Any, anything can happen. That's right. That was a surprise. I wasn't yeah. ready for that. Ever. No, I wasn't ready for that either. Uh, I was real surprised. It was, uh, what's that guy's name who came out of the show? Fernando? Or oh, what is it? Sanchez? Uh, <laughs> that other way. Our uh, producer? Our producer, Fernando. <laughs> Fernando. <laughs> well, anyway, I haven't seen that guy in weeks. <laughs> I'm worried about him. <laughs> okay, the second game. Anyways. <laughs> and the second game, number seven, Michigan State at number 12, Michigan. I got this. Michigan. I'm taking. Uh, well, uh, oh. Michigan State is uh, undefeated. Yes. And, Look at my shirt. But they're, but they're, but they're, <laughs> Look at my shirt. Well, but that's basketball. Is, Robert. Uh, David, I know what your what your school is. Spartans, uh, baby. Go I'm green. Go with the go white. Big big blue. Oh, big blue. Big blue. Wow. Michigan Wolverines. I'm going with the alumni of Urban Magic Johnson, Michigan State. Yep. Oh. So you're going with what? What was it? Michigan. 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 Wolverines. You Michigan State, Bobby. Uh, Michigan State. Michigan State. You got my shirt. Michigan. You I'm, uh, I'm going with Michigan. Oh, <laughs> you're gonna win it at the big house. <laughs> I'm going with Michigan in this one. Michigan. What do you like? I'm what do you like, Felix? Ooh, that's that's pretty hard. They're know. playing home. And Michigan State or and Michigan? No, at Michigan. 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 At Michigan. But Michigan they just State on the road. Feet. And Michigan has that that Four Niners coach that got fired. This yeah, season. yeah. Yeah. What's his I'm, name? Uh, Harbaugh. Harbaugh. I'm going to Michigan. They're two and zero against ranked teams right now. Then last year they were one in ten. They're gonna win against Michigan State. Oh. Not, not, not in a blowout, but so Michigan State wins. No, Michigan. Michigan, Michigan wins. Michigan. The Wolverines. They're pretty good this year. Wolverines are only good in Marvel comics. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Last one. Number eight, Florida. At yes. number six, LSU. That's a great game. Florida, Florida is undefeated as well. Yeah, and they're playing in LSU. Yeah, but I'm I'm gonna take the Gators. No, oh, you flip they're, gonna, they're gonna upset the Tigers. And you know what? That. I'm gonna have to flip my side. I'm going with LSU. I like LSU as well. You going with the color from the Lakers? LSU? <laughs> no, no, LSU. Because that freshman quarterback just got suspended for the whole year. Purple and yellow. I only like in the Lakers. No, I'm I'm the, but nobody else. <laughs> Apparently, he wasn't supposed to take an over counter medication, and he fell the the oh, drug through. Man, so I'm going with LSU on that one too. Even though I've been real impressed with Florida. Uh, but, yeah, uh, but when when you take away somebody that's been uh, running your offense, man, all of a sudden, I, I can't. Uh, the food just smells so great here in Yoli's State House, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, make sure y'all come down and you come to Yoli's. <laughs> Tell them the other guy sports show. The other guy sports send you, and you'll get a discount, guys. <laughs> I just don't know what kind of discount. <laughs> <laughs> get, oh, surprise! Get, surprise free, discount. Free water. <laughs> You're gonna get extra napkins. <laughs> Good so, service. Who do you got, Robert? I also got LSU. Okay. I'll listen to this one. Okay. All right. So let's go to the big boys. Who you got, Felix? Oh, that's right, Felix. LSU. LSU. Since, since, since what? Death Valley. Death Valley, LSU. All right. We'll go down to the our last let's, NFL. Let's go. Big boys. Oh, the big boys. Oh, 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 oh. We'll make it quick. I know, I know ah. Felix wants to rub this in. <laughs> I, I know he wants to rub it in. Ah. Good. I don't mind. Bring I'm it out, Felix. I'm not a fan. Ah. Bring it out. Um, what happened? What happened? It was all good. It was good in halftime. I thought I actually thought you guys were gonna win because Tom Brady hasn't been sacked 
Yeah. 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 Five times in one game. Yeah. So you guys made history on him. But Martin after that second, the after the halftime show, beast, you, 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 they, they fell asleep. Uh, okay, and the reason is because you like who? Tom Brady. He's a he's a he's a he's a Patriots fan. So. Uh, Tom, who do we got? That's what he hard. I, I just like Tom Brady only in one place, and that's in my fantasy league. <laughs> Anywhere else? No, I talk, oh, talking about it's, it's, Tom Brady. Marco Mariota. He, it's gonna he's be like uh, his fantasy football quarterback. He averaged two hundred yards a game. It's gonna be the Patriots yeah. and Colts. That's that's gonna gonna and that's gonna, that's gonna be a, uh, like a rival for them. Uh, New uh, England uh, the Tom balls. Brady against Luck. <laughs> I'm, I'm going with Tom Brady. I'm going with the Patriots. Patriots at New England? Uh, no, in uh, Indianapolis. Colts. Uh, oh. the Colts have they're, they're not at FedEx Bowl. Yeah, I'm going also New England. Yeah, give me New England. Across the board, New England? Yeah. They go <laughs> with their undefeated. Phoenix is hands down, New England. Uh uh-uh. uh. You, oh, you going? You gonna uh, go opposite? Since since what happened in the playoffs to deflate balls, I think. Well, that's what I think Indiana's gonna do the same thing, but I think Tom Brady's gonna get used to it by halftime. It's. I said it's gonna go to overtime, <laughs> but it's gonna be a draw. It's gonna be a tie. Tie game. Tie game. Even draw. overtime tie game. Uh, I'll put it okay, that's basically that. Uh, uh, that's where the right, well, the yeah. whole concept of the deflated but, balls. But Tom started. Brady should have been spending like for five games. Four games. Oh, four. Uh, well, I was hoping for five. So I yeah. I was hoping the whole season. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the second game is going to be the Panthers at Seahawks. Oh man, uh, Panthers are undefeated. Yes. Yeah. Ghost, Ghost Rivera is doing a good job. Uh, I'm, like, I'm I, going I, with I, Seattle. Uh, what? No, they what? lost. They what? lost against the Bengals. They played tough at home. Was. They played tough at home. First time, that's, that's and they're playing the in Seattle. Time, they lose the 13th. I think the, I think the Panthers are overrated. But I'm going to go with the I'm Panthers. Going, I'm going with Seattle. They, they're going to go I like, the, I like the Panthers defense. Upset. Though. I like the defense. So you're going with the yeah, I Panthers? Yeah, Panthers? Panthers? Yeah. To Bobby? I'm going with the Seahawks. The Seahawks. See? <laughs> I like Bobby. Bobby's a man of reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But I hope Panthers win. But I think Seahawks will show up. Alex, you're going with what? Uh, Panthers. 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 Where are you going? Since they're both young, but Russell Wilson has a ring. He knows how it feels to play in the playoff in the Super Bowl. But <laughs> Panthers defense has what's his name? Cam. What's his name? Um, Kikli. Yeah, yeah. And he's in a. I think he's a different world. Right? He's a. He's a different. He's like. He's another Clay Matthews. So I'm going. I'm going with Panthers. Yep. Yeah, I go with Sherman. Choice. Good choice. Richard Sherman's not going to do anything against their offense. Because I'm going with Seattle because I think they're desperate. Yeah. They're desperate for a win, especially yeah. like coming in hard with just, the Bengals. The Bengals, like, right? Yeah. Just like your choices. Yeah. 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 And you start dying no one. And the Philly. New York Giants and Philadelphia. Monday Night Football. Uh, New York Giants, Philadelphia, give me Philadelphia. And now they're playing in uh, Eagles. Yeah. Philly? Yeah, Philly. Give me Philly. I'll take Philly. I know uh, DeMarcus Murray but he did score his first touchdown finally finally actually like five <laughs> but the, the Philly uh, I'm going with uh, the Giants Giants are playing good the G-Man yeah it could easily be 5-0 and so I'll go with the G-Man on that one I never trust Eli Manning man <laughs> To he's, uh, he's the. To the Bobby, you go with what? Uh, what uh, I'm going with I'm over the New York Giants New York. what? Where I think Beckham was gonna. Show I think Eli Manning's kind of like. I a think he's injured. Beckham. Uh, Beckham, he got injured. Yeah, no, but he, he still came back and played the last two minutes. Yeah, but and he he made a play, but yeah, he's gonna get some 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 shots and he'll be back. He's a half string. He's not a. Yeah. He can play for the last two minutes. He can play next game after a week's rest. I mean, they came they came back and and scored that touchdown. I needed Beckham just to give me ten yards. I would have won my fantasy. I lost my fantasy by one point. I won my fantasy. I'm I'm. I'm number one, one, yo. You number one? Yeah. I'm points forward. I'm number one, but I lost like two games. I've lost. I've lost by a point or so, man. Just this is what week five already, or week four? Week seven. seven. Oh, that week seven. Week six. Week uh, six. Yeah. Week six. So I'm I'm three and two. I'm, I'm moving up. So Alex, are you good? Uh, what was it? Again? Philadelphia, New York. Oh, Philly. I said Philly. Yeah, it's Philly. Yeah, Philly. Yeah, what Philly? Who are you going for, Felix? Yeah, cause look, the, their offensive line can't block Demarco Murray for anything, cause that's how they, the Cowboys beat them. And they have a good quarterback. The New um, New York Patriots, the New York, Gi- <laughs> the New York Giants have a good quarterback. So yes, and Odell Beckham, he's 
he's like, what is it, the best catch in the league today this year? So, Giants. The Giants. Giant team, man. Okay, so that's it for that. And that's it. Uh, that's it. Uh, now, as a reminder, the band <coughs> will play in the Hondo right. this Saturday. Yeah. They'll be playing, at, I think they told me, at 645 in the yeah. afternoon. So it'll be late. Though. And we'll get the results on the cross country. They also play uh, running district as well. So we'll get on that going also. So good luck to everybody for this week. I know it's a key month for mo- many sports. I know football is about setting up for into the playoffs, see where you who stand. Mm-hmm. Cross country, volleyball, all these also getting ready for moving on to the second level. Hopefully uh, we have a couple kids that move on from district, go run in district or play in district. So from there on, you know, we'll see what happens. You know, it's the best time of the year for sports. But either way, tonight, Wildcats, you know what? Get ready for something that y'all haven't seen in a yeah, while. I know it's going to be, you're going to have to be, you're going to be on the edge of your seat yeah. the whole game. It's going to be exciting. Yeah. It's going to be beautiful. Yeah, yeah. And I, and I think what Chris is going to bring, honestly, I don't think they're ready for it. I think Crystal is going to bring back their, their physical, their defense. They're going to bring out their anger yeah, and everything. Push, oh, my God. It's going to be exciting. And everything's coming down to the table. Yep. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think they're gonna. They're not going to leave anything. I want to thank uh, Yoli Steakhouse for having us Yeah, for this and show. And 94.3 KHER. And, uh, like, again, check us out on the Facebook. So, you, you know, write your comments. We've been having more followers from even from out of state looking at yes. our website. So they're always ready for that show to come out so they can review it. So great job in that sense of having, you know, fans of the Havilinas all the way out of state in Wisconsin, uh, other parts of Texas, I know that. I know in Austin we've had some listeners also. So great job in that sense. Hog Nation spreading like wildfire. Oh, yeah, we're yeah. ready. We're getting bigger. The other guy's sports show. Hook us up on Facebook and everything, you know. Before we know there. it, before we know it, we're gonna go live somewhere. On, oh yeah, uh, on on the so, somebody's gonna host us one one time, <laughs> and hopefully AB will be here next with us next week. Yeah, and and like I said, he's already sent our our best wishes to all all the athletes, to the Havilinas coaches, and everybody, the fans. He he said if he would be there, he'd be probably the loudest one. So we gotta make up for that. All right, so Hog Nation again. Let's tear it up tonight. Let's show Carrizo what it's all about. Chris City on top. We win and we move on forward. Let's go. All right, let's go, baby. Go Hog. Who win it now?